What is up, guys? It's Soul Bash. We are back today. We are looking at Citadel. Now, there are several different ways that you can approach Citadel. For one, you can go straight up and you can attack other people. You have three chances every day that you can attack bases. And you can also build them. Build them is going to net you more rewards than you are attacking. But this is where the fun comes in. Okay, we see here we had one to begin with on their side and we had five and they slowly filled up but as you see as the timer runs out you have to stay on this screen to get into the battle if you are not on this screen when citadel starts you are not going to be entered into the battle that is one unique thing about this and we're gonna jump into it and see exactly what citadel has to offer all right, now starting out, this is just a one lane map. There's no places to hide. Everything's out in the open. You start out, you're on the right side if you're attacking. If you're defending, you're on the left side, and that is where your citadel is at. Now the building here, I'm gonna go past these two guys, and as you can see, the building right there. Now the key thing about this building, is you can see, look, it's only getting hit for 10,000. That is the maximum amount of damage, regardless if you're level 10, all the way up to level 100 you're only going to be able to do 10,000 damage at a time to this building now in this particular fight only two of us showed up from each team now there's several different ways to actually win this battle okay as you can see at the top you have 10 out of 10 on both sides for health now if you defeat your enemy 10 times you win if they defeat you 10 times, you lose. Now, the other way that you can win is, of course, by defeating the tower. Uh, as you can see, it's got a health bar. If you get that thing down to 0% within the six minutes that is allowed for the Citadel fight, you're gonna win. But as you can see here, it was a pretty tough fight. There was only two versus two. Uh, I believe it was a 70 and a 72, and we had me 71 and uh, Asian William. He was 77 at the time, and this was a tough fight. I believe the outcome, we eventually, I don't think we won this one, uh, but we were expecting a few more to show up, but of course you have to be on that screen before it comes up or you're not gonna be able to come into the fight. Now, as you can see here, one little key thing is if you want to actually keep that damage up of course, when you're hitting the building, you're not gonna heal yourself. There's no siphon on buildings. So enemy players have to be around if you're gonna attempt to even get any health back from any of this. And as you see, I'm going down right there. Come right back. I'm gonna try a little different. We're gonna go Captain Sam and stay ranged. I got a guy shooting me down from the bottom. So we're gonna move down, start to take him out and he runs. Key thing. Now, here comes Asian William down. He's got one on him. I'm still attacking the tower, yet I'm still doing damage to him. I'm trying to heal up a little bit just to keep from dying again. But this was an intense fight. These things are extremely fun, guys. Uh, you can do them every day. Uh, you can do, like I said, you can build twice which you get more rewards for building. You get, uh, depending on the size of the Citadel that you build within 30 minutes, you, if no one attacks you and you just straight out get it, you get for a medium, you get two of the pixie souls, you get the, uh, the black, uh, what is it, the black diamonds for the pet to feed them, and you get Stardust, which comes in handy, especially if you're working on them demigods. As you can see here, got double teamed. Had to get out, get back over here, get away from them, and try to get healed back up, get inside of this Neza bubble, and it helped out a little. But in the end, we didn't have enough time and enough DPS to finish this one off. Now this is another scenario right here. You have one waiting and a couple of us that are attacking. We get into it, you got 10 seconds to prepare for battle. As you can see, like I said, it earlier you have 10 out of 10 on both sides of health if you kill them 10 times you win if they kill you 10 times you lose now going into this i'm going straight for the tower asian william is going to run over check the circle see if anybody's there automatically 
going straight for it and nobody's here. Okay, so this is a little bit of a predicament. What happens when the other person does not show up? All right, the timer starts at six minutes at the beginning of the fight. And as you go, of course, if nobody does show up within the first minute, you automatically get the win. Hey, that's free stuff. If they don't show up, more power to you. You're going to win. And just two people beaten down within, look, one minute, you can get it down to roughly, what, about 75%? which is not bad so that goes to show you if two people attack a tower every minute you're gonna be able to win you see the time ran out at five minutes nobody showed up we win guys have any questions about Citadel any recommendations of pets or something that maybe be useful there let me know as you can see here's the rewards from building a Citadel right there you get them and just for attacking one, you just get the uh, the black diamonds to feed, and you get the stardust. That's going to be it for today, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.